One fateful morning in May 2007, Ryan Finley's life took an unexpected turn. As he woke up and glanced at the clock, he felt compelled to do something out of the ordinary, wake up his wife, Jill Finley. Reflecting on this moment, Ryan remarked, I went to wake Jill up, which is a miracle in itself as I never, ever, do that on Saturday mornings. However, when he called out to her, there was no response. Alarmed, Ryan shook her gently and called her name again, but Jill remained unresponsive. It soon became clear to him that she wasn't breathing. Frantically, Ryan dialed 911, seeking urgent assistance for his wife. While awaiting the paramedic's arrival, Ryan administered CPR to Jill, desperately trying to revive her. Upon the paramedic's arrival, they quickly assessed Jill's condition and rushed her to the Oklahoma Heart Hospital. Ryan trailed behind in his truck, anxiously waiting for updates on Jill's condition. It was then that he learned Jill had experienced a cardiac arrest and the medical team was working tirelessly to bring her back. Ryan vividly remembered the moment when the emergency room doctor shared his suspicions. He described his mind being flooded with questions and the unforgettable feeling when the doctor advised him to pray for Jill. Ryan expressed, when a doctor tells you that you need to start praying, I feel it's about as serious as it's going to get. Subsequently, the doctors confirmed that Jill was in a coma. Ryan struggled to come to terms with the reality of his 31-year-old wife's precarious state, torn between life and death. Throughout the two-week period when Jill remained in a coma, Ryan welcomed numerous visitors who came to see her. Among them was Jill's cousin, who arrived with his Bible and spent nearly an hour reciting passages aloud in the hospital room. Before departing, he left his Bible with Ryan, suggesting that he read some passages if he felt inclined. Following that pivotal day, Ryan devoted several hours each day to reading verses from the Bible aloud, hoping for Jill's recovery as he couldn't fathom life without her. On the 11th day, Ryan returned home to reflect on the situation. Despite the doctor's advice to consider removing Jill from life support due to her stagnant condition, he remained steadfast in his hope for her recovery. After spending a sleepless night grappling with the possibility of losing Jill, Ryan made the agonizing decision to follow the doctor's recommendation. He returned to the hospital and informed them of his choice to disconnect the life support machines. On the 14th day, the doctors disconnected Jill from life support. Miraculously, five hours later, she began to move and mumble. Overwhelmed by the thought that these might be her last moments, Ryan stepped out into the waiting area. As he waited, a nurse approached him and said, I think you need to come in, she's talking. Ryan re-entered Jill's room, fully expecting these to be their final moments together. I walked in, and Jill was talking. The first thing she said was, get me out of here. I want to go home. Ryan recounted, astonished by Jill's sudden recovery. To ensure that her cognitive functions were intact, he quizzed her on their pet's names and posed a few mental math questions. To his delight, Jill answered everything correctly. She even expressed a desire to visit her favorite restaurant for Mexican food. In an interview, Jill disclosed that she had no recollection of her time in the hospital. It felt as though she had been away for an extended period. When asked about her remarkable recovery, Ryan attributed it to God. Divine intervention. I honestly feel that way. Despite her recovery, Jill faced challenges with her motor skills. She had difficulty brushing her teeth and tying her shoelaces, prompting her to relearn these skills from scratch. Following their two-week separation, the couple cherished every moment together, whether it was grocery shopping or taking walks in the park. The scare they endured had reinforced their appreciation for each other's company, and they made sure to savor every moment together. When asked if her husband made the right decision by removing her from life support, Jill affirmed with a resounding yes. She expressed her reluctance to live a life confined to a hospital bed, especially after doctors had warned that she might be left in a vegetative state. In an interview, Ryan reflected on the decision, revealing, there's still not a night that goes by that I don't wake up. I'll usually kick her, 
and if she kicks me back, I know we're okay. This simple gesture serves as a reassuring reminder of their shared journey and ongoing bond.